Are you ready to have your mind blown? For centuries, we've been taught about the sperm race, the idea that millions of sperm are competing to reach the egg first and fertilize it. But new research is turning this concept on its head. In this video, we're going to explore the latest findings on sperm and fertilization and discover that the sperm race is nothing more than a myth. First, let's take a look at the biology of sperm. Each sperm cell is equipped with a tail or flagellum that propels it forward. But contrary to popular belief, sperm do not swim in a frenzied haphazard way towards the egg. In fact, they travel in a coordinated and targeted manner using chemical signals to navigate towards the egg. Studies have found that sperm can detect chemical signals, such as the ones produced by the egg, from a distance of several centimeters away and then swim towards the source of those signals. This process is called chemotaxis. Recent studies have shown that the fertilization process is not a race at all, but a highly orchestrated dance between the sperm and the egg. When a sperm reaches the egg, it doesn't simply barge in and take over. Instead, it must first undergo a series of interactions with the egg's outer layer or corona radiata before being allowed entry. These interactions involve a complex series of molecular and cellular events that are carefully regulated by the egg. Only a small number of sperm are able to successfully make it through this gatekeeping process and fertilize the egg. This gatekeeping process is an important mechanism for ensuring that only the healthiest and most compatible sperm are able to fertilize the egg. The egg's corona radiata contains molecules that bind to specific receptors on the sperm's surface, and only sperm that have the corresponding receptors will be able to bind and enter the egg. This process is known as sperm selection, and it helps to ensure that the fertilized egg will have the best chance of developing into a healthy embryo. One fact that not many people know is that during this gatekeeping process, the egg also releases enzymes that actively degrade the sperm's cell membrane, further reducing the number of sperm that can successfully fertilize the egg. This mechanism, known as the acrosome reaction, helps to eliminate any damaged or abnormal sperm that may have made it through the corona radiata barrier. Additionally, the egg also releases a calcium wave that helps to control the number of sperm that can bind to the egg and the timing of the sperm's entry. This helps to avoid polyspermy, which is the fertilization of an egg by multiple sperm, which can lead to the formation of abnormal embryos and increase the risk of miscarriage. This gatekeeping process is a complex and dynamic process that ensures the survival of the fittest sperm and the healthiest offspring. But there's more to the story. Recent research has also shown that sperm selection is not random, it's influenced by the overall health and genetic makeup of the sperm and the egg. This means that the sperm that fertilizes the egg may not be the strongest or fastest sperm, but rather the one that is the best match for the egg. This process of matching sperm and egg based on their genetic compatibility is known as genomic imprinting. When it comes to sperm selection, the egg is looking for certain features that indicate the sperm's overall health and genetic compatibility. For example, the egg will typically favor sperm that have a strong and healthy flagellum, the tail-like structure that propels the sperm forward. A healthy flagellum is an indicator of the sperm's ability to move effectively and reach the egg. The egg also looks for sperm that have a high level of genetic integrity. Sperm with abnormal or damaged DNA are less likely to fertilize the egg and produce a healthy embryo. The egg has a mechanism known as the chromatin remodeling, which helps to check the sperm's DNA and only allow those with a healthy DNA to pass through. Moreover, the egg also looks for sperm that have a high level of antioxidant enzymes. These enzymes help to protect the sperm from damage caused by free radicals, which can accumulate during the long journey through the female reproductive tract. Sperm with high levels of antioxidant enzymes are more likely to survive the journey and fertilize the egg. Additionally, the egg also looks for sperm that have the appropriate receptors on their surface, which will allow them to bind to the molecules on the egg's corona radiata. This process is known as sperm egg binding and helps to ensure that the fertilized egg will have the best chance of developing into a healthy embryo. It's worth noting that while the gatekeeping process helps to ensure that only the healthiest and most compatible sperm are able to fertilize the egg, it's not perfect, and it doesn't guarantee that a fertilized egg will be free of genetic defects or chromosomal abnormalities. But it's a mechanism that in most cases ensures the survival of the fittest sperm and the healthiest offspring. The phenomenon in which certain genes are differentially expressed depending on whether they are inherited from the mother or the father. This can lead to an uneven distribution of genetic information between the sperm and the egg and influence the likelihood of certain sperm fertilizing the egg. One fact that not many people know is that the egg has the ability to actively select the sperm based on their genetic information. Studies have found that the egg can selectively bind to sperm that carry certain genetic variations, such as those associated with increased fertility or disease resistance. 
This mechanism, known as selective sperm egg binding, helps to ensure that the fertilized egg will have the best chance of developing into a healthy embryo. The egg's ability to influence the sperm's genetic DNA is a process known as epigenetic reprogramming, which occurs after fertilization. This process involves the modification of the sperm's genetic material by the egg. This can lead to the activation or repression of certain genes and influence the development of the fertilized egg. Epigenetic modifications are changes to the DNA molecule that do not alter the underlying genetic code but affect how genes are expressed. The egg can use these modifications to control which genes are active and which are not in the fertilized egg and later on in the development of the embryo. This process is known to be essential for the proper development of the embryo. And it's a way to ensure that the fertilized egg will have the best chance of developing into a healthy offspring. Epigenetics is a way that certain genes in our DNA can be turned on or off without changing the actual code of the gene. There are different ways that this can happen, like by adding certain chemical tags to the DNA or by using tiny molecules that can control which genes are active. For example, when an egg and sperm join together to make a baby, the egg can release tiny molecules called microRNAs that can target certain genes in the sperm's DNA and either turn them on or off. This can have an effect on how the fertilized egg develops and potentially influence the health of the baby that is being formed. It's important to note that while the egg can influence the sperm's genetic information, it doesn't mean that the egg can change the sperm's genetic code, but it can modify it and influence the outcome of the fertilization process. Also, the epigenetic reprogramming process is not fully understood yet, and more research is needed to better understand how it works and its implications. This new understanding of fertilization has important implications for assisted reproductive technologies such as in vitro fertilization and for our understanding of inheritance and genetic disease. By understanding the mechanisms of sperm selection and genomic imprinting, scientists may be able to develop new techniques to improve the success rates of assisted reproductive technologies and to better understand the genetic basis of inherited diseases. The next time you hear someone talk about the sperm race, you'll know that it's not a race at all, but rather a finely tuned and orchestrated process that ensures the survival of the fittest sperm and the healthiest offspring.